Hey there, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome and thanks for joining me on Turner Classic Movies. For the next few hours, we're honoring a talented, though occasionally overlooked actor, George C. Scott. And it wouldn't be a righteous tribute to Scott if we didn't include what is generally considered his finest performance, the movie that earned him the Oscar for Best Actor. From 1970, it's Patton, the story of Army General George Patton in World War II. The movie was the first huge blockbuster of the decade, a surprise given that it's a war film. The country was at the time fully preoccupied and deeply divided over the war in Vietnam. This was 1970. Yet out of this polarizing political environment came surprisingly this World War II biopic praised by critics and a hit with audiences. George C. Scott stars as Patton, one of the most controversial military leaders of the 20th century. The movie follows General Patton from 1943 to 45, just before his post-war death in an auto accident. This is a big World War II epic, but nothing in the film is as big as Scott's larger-than-life portrayal of Patton, who Scott plays accurately, history tells us, as a fearless, egomaniacal warrior from another age, a man who lived for war. Patton's exploits in North Africa quickly earned him fame and a nickname, Old Blood and Guts. The film aims big, trying to capture not only the real-life events that shaped Patton's career, but also the inner workings of his brilliant and complex strategic mind. Through it all, we see all the flaws that came along with the greatness. It's all supported by a haunting trumpet score from composer Jerry Goldsmith. From 1970, shot on location in England, Spain, Morocco, and Greece, and produced by retired World War II General Frank McCarthy, here's George C. Scott in Patton. <laughs> 